I think more than anything, public art has the ability to show care for a community. It's really encouraging as a young person to see a direct impact on your community. I think the community loves them. It makes the whole atmosphere of Coring so much better. This feels good to be a part of something that's going to be here forever. It's a great way to help the community and express ourselves. There's a whole story in every single mural that's made. I'm glad to be a part of that. Public art becomes an extension of what the museum is trying to do. Folks just feel like, you know, sometimes the museums are for the elite and you take it out onto the streets and it becomes a whole different story. I think it's very important that we think about not just what the art looks like, but what perspective is represented, what story is being told. The Alley Art Project utilizes the Rockwell's Museum collection as the source of inspiration for every mural project. We work in collaboration with the High School Learning Center of the Corning Painted Post Area School District, as well as Corning Community College now, giving students the opportunity to share their stories and their ideas, bringing the art from the museum to the street and into public spaces. It's been such a meaningful partnership, helping students explore their identity, giving the opportunity for them to work with world-class artists. I love mural work because it's extremely accessible. It brings artwork out of, you know, four walls of a gallery or museum and it brings it into the public space. People engage with it that may not otherwise visit those spaces or feel that they're for them. I think that how we're considering public art and corning in our region is really evolving. We're at a moment where we are seeing the impact of 15 amazing murals. There are aspects of our community that didn't have a role, that didn't have power, that didn't have a place when these communities were established. And now we have the opportunity to scaffold and layer on new perspectives that are more reflective of who we are and brings the stories and experiences of our students directly into dialogue with the rest of the community. We work with artists to select artwork connected to the Rockwell's annual theme. Jokingly, I say that the Martine piece chose me, so I was extremely drawn to it. I also loved that it was a self-portrait. I thought of that in terms of working with the youth, getting to explore their own identities. It felt really powerful to choose that piece. I think self-worth was a huge component this year and something that a lot of the students explored. I think it's something that Salem exemplifies, how to love yourself and therefore love others. I think Salem is a really great person to have representing the mural. He is the perfect person to represent being kind even when you're somebody who stands out to be like put down. I think that so many people my age or people younger just feel as though that they don't have a voice or a say in things. It's really important for us to have youth voices and youth heroes to show that you know you're not alone. It's something I've always wanted to do you know like come out of my shell become a part of the community. It's been made really easy with this project. I'm glad to get out here, be a part of a community that like accepts and loves, lets them express themselves freely and shares that love and that joy for art in any form with everybody. Art, personally to me, is my therapy. When I'm having a bad day, I will go walk my art history and look at all the murals. I'm a part of it now, so that's amazing. It like brightens our community in a positive way when the community sees us out here working together as a team. I just love being able to paint and have this impact on other people. I think it's inspiring as well to young artists. It just connects us all as a community. And you realize that you can contribute to your community in positive ways. It's an expression of all the individuals who put their time into it, but it's also an expression of this community's commitment to art and to vibrance and to the youth. What's so exciting about the Alley Art Project is the process that has been created around it. Even if the murals fade, that doesn't change the experience of the people who made them had. It doesn't matter what part of the project you've participated in. Just being in a community where there is public art, it's transformative. It's really exciting to be able to collaborate with these students and bring out their thoughts and their feelings and put it onto wall and share it here in Corning. I've never really been a part of something this big. It's new for a lot of us to have things that we've made be actually important. It makes me feel like we're all one team, you know, in the community. I'm just really proud, really, really proud of my community. Art transforms the community. The LE Art Project is continuing to transform the cultural and architectural landscape where we live. Sometimes we think it's hard to measure the impact of public art in the community, but in Corning, with the addition of 15 murals, it's really easy to see. 